Hello everyone, we are back. I've decided to do a video from the Biltmore Park to Asheville. Uh, since this gives us a lot of more city style driving. We're going to start right here and see how it does. Interesting turn. Um, it's like it made that turn last second or something. That was, that was really odd. Interesting behavior. Not. Well, that was going to be a disengagement because this person's going really slow. My car got impatient and wanted to go around them. Um, which is odd. The car clearly wasn't stopped. I'm not sure why it would just automatically assume to go around that person. I, I think it learns these behaviors, again, from city drivers. Like, like offense, whatever, taking city drivers, they're kind of dicks. You have to be. Like, if I, if I lived in a city, you just kind of have to be a dick. Uh, to drive in the city, you just got to go around people, break traffic laws and whatever else to get around in a city. And when I'm talking about a city, not like Asheville City, well, Asheville is borderline bare minimum city. I'm talking like New York City, Boston, uh, Chicago, all those type of places. Los Angeles, all, the, all those type of places. You have to just, just basically traffic laws go out the window. And so yeah, it's, I'm pretty sure that's where these behaviors come from. And it could be maybe just California drivers, I don't know. Um, no offense to that, but uh, just city drivers in general just, just I've noticed over the years, every time I go into a city, they're aggressive AF, and they just don't seem to care. Uh, so they'll just go around people that are going too slow, they'll honk their horns constantly, blah, blah, blah. And yeah, they're just, it's just different culture. And it's interesting that um, perhaps a full a driving, self-driving car is gonna have its own culture. Like, like is that AI or what? And it's gonna have its own artificial intelligence culture. Um, of how it drives and maybe it'll adapt based on the each person maybe eventually like as we like tell it to go faster or slower in certain si situations it will just decide it will just learn from that and like become slightly more or less aggressive based on the scenario uh, hopefully that actually does happen because that's the only way I think most people will be happy is that people are gonna be like oh the car is going too slow Oh, the car is going way too fast. Oh, the car didn't need the brake here. Blah, blah, blah. And like, everyone's going to be disappointed to some extent. Uh, it just depends on how much, if you will. So if you didn't see, I have my uh, window open. You'll probably see my uh, dog's head from time to time. He likes to stick his head out the window. I don't think that's gonna have too much noise. Um, but yeah, it is a nice day outside. 64 degrees at the very end of December is absolutely ridiculous for here. Okay, sorry about that everyone. I had to send a text message to meeting someone up in Asheville as well. Um, so, yeah, so it's just, we're just gonna try and see here what's been different uh, about this drive and everything else, and I'll keep you updated. So I braked there a little bit too harshly going around the corner, and we got a van behind me that keeps on tailgating me. So I braked here for that car going. It's not good with cars coming around corners really isn't so I might need to I'm gonna press the accelerator so I can get through this intersection here so that was me accelerating quickly this is all the car going through the intersection though it did very good going through that intersection I just didn't want to get stuck at that light Okay, so 
I forgot waypoints um, will cause the car to just like freak out when you get to your um, destination. Also, why is it because we haven't made it to the destination that okay how do we fix this um you have to delete your stop as you get to it it just needs once you pass your waypoint you just need it it just needs to end it that's i'm uh, mixed on that and you there needs to be an easier way to just delete your waypoints because like the waypoint was in the middle of the road like we went through the waypoint and yet it thinks it automatically assumed why is it going so slow oh because i'm not in autopilot that's another problem like that i i never had this issue previously but now i don't realize i'm in uh, traffic where cruise control i didn't realize that i never heard the the little chime this is definitely worse than this version that's that's a, a complaint they have with the in nh NTSH um, it really is a complaint um, that multiple times this version I haven't realized I'm in traffic aware cruise control it disengages just randomly and then you're just in you're it's just gonna accelerate at random Wow okay um, that was good from my point of view uh, I probably would have slowed just a little bit for that truck but like not jam on the brakes so like usually what happens is the car will just jam on the brakes oh it needs to slow down made it but it needs to slow down a little bit sooner and of course now it's not going to go through the blinking yellow it keeps on trying to stop in the middle okay I'm not tiny slightly improved from the previous version um that version would have uh, kept on trying to stop even after I had let off the pedal it seems like it's a little bit more confident going through blinking yellows now with this version so better this time on this road and it could just strictly be conditions uh, last time I had to disengage right here because it went on the wrong side of the road Very good turn there. It needs, needs, I'm gonna have to disengage here. Yep. There's a giant speed bump and it was not slowing down. Like, you literally don't wanna go over this any faster than 10 mile an hour. So that was the definite disengagement because it wasn't slowing down for that speed bump. Now up here, you can go ahead and speed up. Um, cause this speed bump you can go over at 25 mile an hour, no problem. Um, maybe even 20. But, again, that giant speed bump there, it was not slowing down for at all. Okay, so it's turning on the blinkers, even though this is, doesn't need to actually go this way. This is a one-way road right here. And it didn't need the blinkers at all right here. Yeah, I don't like to well, make this behavior at waypoints. It's almost more dangerous uh, for it to just, because what it will do is it'll do random quick jerky movements um, if you pass your destination without it turning in. So you, you have to remember to cancel it beforehand this one this one's completely wrong i put this marker on the main road right here and it put it in the parking lot as it the system tries to be smarter than the human and that's honestly really frustrating because i'm like just i put the marker at that spot for a reason i don't want you to change positions i put it on this road right here and it's like nope you definitely want to go to the parking lot you definitely want to go to the parking lot like it doesn't give you a choice um, to put it on the main road as a marker. 
So I didn't realize answering that phone call would have killed my video, but um, I just wanted to kind of give a uh, overview of what I did. We were right here when it paused us. We made this intersection right here. I wish you could have seen it, but it made this intersection beautifully. This is a really weird intersection. I didn't realize it wasn't recording. And the person I'm meeting here is here, but um, then it came through here, and everything else did it great. No disengagements the whole way through. But. Hello everyone. Um, we're we're back on our route. Um, I was meeting up with a member of our local club just to kind of guide him through a few questions he had on his car. Um, but um, we are back on our route now. I had to deal with this, and we are on our way back to Asheville. getting very close to that curb. I wish I wanted I mean obviously it did fine but I'm very um this area right here I'm always so hesitant of how close it is to the curb. And it's doing well otherwise. Kind of saw that light a little bit late. So it actually needs to get in the right left lane. Which is, I mean, it's fine as long as it's gonna properly change lanes up here. And so that was good. It did break a little bit hard here and it's actually driving in the bike lane. Really shouldn't do that. Um, and we are good to take a right lane, <laughs> right turn right here. Did very good there. These are all slight improvements, I'd say. Like the overall, like responsiveness, like um, action to action, is improved with this version. And that's that's makes it. That's what seems like early human. It's really nice. Okay, so I turned on the blinker there. This does this every single time. I believe this is due to poor map data. What, what I'll say is changing lanes to follow a route. The route is a straight road here. Like, it doesn't have anywhere where it says get in left lane or like anything that indicates. Like, even here it jogs right. You think it would stay in the right lane. Um, so that, every single version has had that issue. I mean, if you've seen my previous videos, you'll know right here there's a left only turn lane this left lane goes into a left only turn lane you have to get in the right lane that stays straight okay so it stopped a little bit too much for that car right there interesting that like once you're like past that certain spot where it messes up that right here it, it stays straight previous updates did try and get in this left lane still right here which is odd um, but that's improvements in routing that this version has okay so it needs to get on look okay it needs to get over left a little bit early it's missed this turn up in the last several versions. Not not this turn, but the turn after. It needs to get in the far right lane. Now turn right onto Otis Street. Which it's trying to do. I'm pressing the accelerator to just to get it ahead in the lane. No, no, don't don't do it. Don't do it. Good. Let's finally improve that again. Um, now turn right onto Battery Park Avenue. I don't know why it's going so slow here. I'm pressing the accelerator to speed it up a little bit. It's probably that pedestrian. Now turn left onto O Henry Avenue. Okay, I'm just gonna go. 
A little bit clear, close to the curve for my liking right there. There's no telling if I really would have hit the curb uh, without having a, a you know, curb camera right there. That happens so sullenly that it's not really worth me having it. Okay, for some reason, I decided it was going to go straight towards that car instead of like trying to turn. It, it tried to swing out for the turn is what the problem was. So we are going to actually park right here. This will be the end of this video, everyone. If you have questions for me about this drive, please put them down below. We are going to do our blind turn test next, and we'll see you once we get out of there. Appreciate everyone watching. Bye.